Hey art fans, Butch Hartman here. If you, if you don't know who I am, <laughs> who am I kidding? Of course you know who I am. I, I'm beloved children's animator, Butch Hartman. I pretty much created your childhood, you know, with such classics like The Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Modern Masterpiece Tough Puppy, and Unfairly Cancelled Before It's Time, Bunsen is a beast. So while we're working out the kinks on the app for our new streaming service, Oaxis, which by the way, thank you all so much for donating to that Kickstarter. It's, it's going really well. It might be a while before another update and we may have to do another Kickstarter. It turns out that you buying the licenses for shows is, is a little bit more expensive than I thought. But no need no need to worry because today we're going we're gonna to be drawing more, more of those anime characters you guys love so much. Now I personally, being a 50 year old family man, don't really understand the, the appeal appeal of the, these Japanese motion graphics. In fact, I do find it a bit insulting that we're consuming all of this media from, from you know, the people who bombed Pearl Harbor. Kids these days, oh, God help us. Anyway, so ever since I did my uh, last anime drawing video, I, I got a lot of requests from you guys of, of not only just anime characters, but also so, some manga characters. So without further ado, let's, let's just jump into it. Alright, so first up we're going to be drawing Pun Pun from the, uh, the manga series Goodnight Pun Pun. In the comments of my last video, a lot of you guys seem to, to be a really big fan of this series, so I decided to look into it, and while I haven't read it yet, uh, it was all very fascinating stuff. You see, this kid here, Pun Pun, he, he, is a, he comes from a wholesome Christian family, and he's actually in direct contact with God, which blew my mind, because you really don't see stuff like that often, and, and Pun Pun just seems like a, a really, really good-natured kid. So, you know, I just thought I'd draw him having a bit of fun, you know, riding a signature skateboard around the streets of Milwaukee. Alright, so we have the line art done now, but I realize it looks a bit too consistent, you know, we need to give it that uh, classic Butch Hartman flair, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add these, add these super thick outlines. Yeah, you know, they, do, do they make sense? Not not really, but but here we go. So I get a lot of comments from you guys asking how I choose the colors for my beautiful backgrounds. It's actually a really simple trick I like to... Uh, a, a simple trick I like... Oh, butch old buddy, you gotta lay off that communion wine. Alright, so I, as I'm coloring in this little fella, I would like to make an announcement on behalf of the entire Butch Hartman team. You see, I love the concept for Goodnight Pun Pun so much that uh, I, I am very, very happy to announce that we have secured the rights for the Goodnight Pun Pun anime, and it will be an Oaxis exclusive, launching whenever it's ready. I'm very, very excited about this. I can't wait to see how Pun Pun's story plays out on my good Christian network. I mean, me and my good family network. I think it'll be something the kids will really enjoy. And with that, here we have Pun Pun. Next up, we have Puck. Now, now Puck is a funny little guy. Uh, he, he's from this uh, anime series called Berserk. Now, I haven't seen it, but it doesn't really seem like my thing. I, I, I generally prefer 2D animation over 3D, but I have seen clips of this character, Puck, and, and he really struck a chord with me because he's basically a fairy. And as you guys know, I invented fairies with, with my classic series, The Fairly Odd Parents, which ran for 15 years on Nickelodeon. People keep asking me, you know, is it canceled or are they, they going to make more? Guys, I don't know, okay? I, I don't work at Nickelodeon anymore, I don't know what they're doing with my stuff. But honestly, I just thought that Chloe was such a great character, I'd really be shocked if they don't renew it soon. Now, when it comes to uh, the highlights, people always ask me, but Butch, why do you use such odd colors for your highlights? Then I shoot back with, hold on. Hold on now. How many successful Nickelodeon television shows have you had, mister? That's right, if you want to criticize me, you best better have a beefy resume. So there you go, add, add a nice signature, and we have... Puck, the biggest goofster in all of fairy world. All right, so this next one has a pretty interesting story. So uh, a while ago, you know, back in like the mid 2000s, mo most of you honestly probably weren't even born then. I was sitting at home working on concept art for for a new show called Splatopus. Now I have no idea why the Nickelodeon executives chose not to greenlight this show, but man, it, it was just so much fun. All about this platypus and you go splat, you know, you, you get it, it's just really funny stuff. Anyway, while I was working on this, I was also watching our reruns of Johnny Bravo on Cartoon Network, which, uh, of course, as you all know, is another show that I worked on before The Fairly Odd Parents. Anyway, I, I was working so hard on Splatopus that, that it went way into the late hours of the night without me noticing Johnny Bravo ended, and I came into contact with my very first experience with anime. That's right, it was the show called Full Metal Alchemist. 
Now, right away, I was honestly pretty disgusted. The main character, for whatever reason, did not believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and he went around everywhere belittling people who weren't Satanists. But it was airing the whole night and I decided, you know what, I want to see this kid get what's coming to him. The Lord shows no mercy to non-believers. So I watched a few more episodes and thankfully my prayers were answered. As this good Christian man showed Tucker, I'll never forget him, he decides to fuse his own daughter with a dog just to spite the dirty atheist main character. Character. And honestly, it blew me away. It was such a fantastic scene. You know, nowadays, a lot of people really love Full Metal Alchemist, and you know, only watching the first couple episodes, I really wouldn't have understood why. But because of what happens with this girl and this dog, I can definitely see why my friends over at Watch Mojo decided to hail this as the number one anime. Alright, so this last one's a fun one. Of course, you're, you're all very familiar with the, uh, the hit Disney live-action film Sky High. Well, a couple years ago, they actually started turning it into an anime uh, called my Hero Academia. Of course, as you know, I, I'm quite familiar with this series as I drew, uh, I drew, you know, that frog girl uh, a few months ago. But you see, that was before I actually started watching the series. I started watching it on, on this this really wonderful site called Kiss Anime. I don't know if any of you have heard about this before, but it has, like, everything in high quality. It, it's pretty fantastic. Anyway, it's a really fun show. I, I think it conveys Christian values very well. In fact, all of us at the Waxes are definitely eyeing it for, for a possibility to have have exclusive rights to the fourth season. But anyway, as I watched it, I, I quickly became fond of this character, Mineta. I could really identify with Mineta. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was a child. And I mean, if I'm anything to go by, I'm sure he's going to become a wonderful hero after he graduates. I thought I'd just draw him in a really cool action pose, you know, when, when he defeats the villains. It's, it's a blue villain, as you can see by the, uh, but by the highlight. So there we go, and, and with that, I believe we are done. So there you go, we have four fresh new anime drawings from myself, cartoonist legend Butch Hartman. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. You know, if you have the time, check out my app, the Noog Network, it is really popping nowadays. I'm also on all the social media, make sure, sure you follow my Snapchat, tell all your friends about it. Remember, like I said, I'll update you on the waxes as soon as we got things sorted out, it's going, going super well. And finally, remember to go to church on Sundays, there is is only one God, our Lord and Savior, the Father. Hartman out. Pen drop. My sanity,